Uh, hi. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss about uh, a case study or a project in context to the implementation of guideware uh, uh, projects in the real world. So this is in regard to the role of a business analyst because as we all know, I have made a couple of videos earlier in context to the guideware role as a business analyst, right? So how do uh, we work on the guideware configuration, right? So how do we work on uh, workflows, data models, data dictionaries, right? So there are some uh, videos I have made and of, of course some of the class, present class uh, sessions were already posted in my channel. So to have a better understanding for uh, some people who are applying for opportunities in context to the business and list in guideware, uh, I'm going to explain how we need to understand the problem and what kind of solution do we need to provide. So that's where generally whenever people have uh, attended for the training, because I always focus more on the people, how they have to understand the problem and how they have to come up with solution. So once they have identified the business solution, that will be translated into a technical solution by the technical team. Followed by this implementation will be taken care of by the technical team, right? So either they may be using different, different uh, uh, programming language, something like Gosu is a programming language we use in the guide very extensively so that whatever the required coding and all everything will be done. So in today uh, session, as I'm saying, right, so I'm going to explain about what exactly two points I'm going, three points I'm going to explain. One is about the client overview. Second, what challenges clients is facing. At the same time, what was the observation in context to the client? What is the client observation based on the problem what they had? So why am I explaining this to you? Because if you are a BA, first of all, it's not only about the knowledge areas of BA by writing some documentations or preparing some epics, user stories or understanding the configuration process, migration, all that. It's also important for us to understand the business situation and scenario. Subsequently, what solutions and how these solutions should be provided must be. Uh, prepared with that's important because if, when you go for any opportunity people will sure ask you that so what was your recent project right what is that you did all that right so in context to this this video i'm making so the first point as i mentioned you it's a client overview because we know uh, guideware is one of the uh, policy center as well as building claims application extensively used in the area of property and casualty insurance so the client is uh, having more than uh, 5,000 uh, employees uh, in US and all that. So they were doing this, uh, uh, providing different, different insurance products relating to auto, property, casualty, life insurance to their customers across different places and all that. And they are having a bus business which was spread across 12 uh, uh, states, across 12 states and all everything. At the same time, they have a uh, uh, clientele somewhere around uh, 12,000 agents they have because if they want to sell any of their insurance products, they require some agents. So they have somewhere around 12,000 uh, uh, independent agents are there. Through those independent agents, they are selling their products to their customers. This is the overall understanding about the client. Now, second, what challenges client is facing? Because as I am already mentioning here, client is already working on some guideware uh, claim center and as well as IBM CM8 process. Because when they want to process these claims and all everything, so in order to ensure the fast payouts, because fast payout is one of the uh, customer satisfaction which we can uh, get with, right? So fast payouts are something important against to the claims, whatever the payouts are we doing must be so accurate and fast enough. It must be fast. So for that, they're using some guideware claims and as well as IBM CM8. But the problem was stated here, as I already mentioned, and I'm highlighting these points. 
So when there is an integration between the two different uh, ones, like for example, either it can be, assume that there is an integration as per the project itself is concerned, Guideware claims and IBM C8 integration was there, right? So that integration was not so seamless. This is in resulting in whatever the delivery timely payouts to the customers and all everything is becoming harder because end of the day, customer is paying us annual premiums. So again, as to that, whatever the claims they have submitted, the payouts must be very faster and very accurate, right? So otherwise, customer satisfaction will come down. So delivering timely payouts to the customers is what something which is important. But unfortunately, as in when uh, there was no proper integration between these two, this is happening, right? So this problem they were getting, right? That is point number one. Second, at the same time, in continuation to that problem integration, whatever the problem integration we have integrating between guideware claims to the IBM CM8, whatever the claim adjustments we want to create and all everything, we are creating this to create manual workarounds because there are different, different automation processes we follow. There are a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, lot of claims will be received by us. So manually work around times and all everything if increasing. So it increases unnecessary burden on the employees, which may come down, right? So their performance levels and all everything will come down here. At the same time, searching for reviewing documents will also be extremely painful because whenever you are using an operation, right? Manual operation, when you want to set some documents or if you want to review the documents and all, manually it is not possible because there are lot of documents, right? Very huge quantity of documents will be there in context to the claims and etc. all that, right? Policies, all that. So, performing all these manually by any end user, whoever the employee is using, usually it is difficult, right? It's extremely painful. So, these are the things because due to the integration issues, right? So, the problem, underlying problem, you need to understand the challenge that the customer is facing is due to the integration problem and all that. So they were unable to deliver the timely payouts to the customer, which affects on the customer satisfaction. In long run, it may impacts on the decline in um, the satisfaction of the customer side. Right? That could be one problem. At the same time, due to the problem integration, even whatever the claim adjustments they wants to create manual workarounds and all everything, so that they have to do it manually. So that searching of documents, reviewing documents would be difficult because the quantity will be very large. In addition to that, there were some more issues were there because one more issue is about user experience. You can see here, user experience of the application was not up to the mark because assume that this application were very, was really old application. What are the user experience and user interfaces were very old. By considering the present situation, that may not be as accurate as it is, right? That was the problem. Mm -hmm. So if that was the case, and if this is the one which is continued and all that, whenever we want to be in market, whenever we want to be in competitive demands and all that, so this is something because unless until customer is not so satisfied with the user interfaces, which was providing by us, right? So customer don't feel interest to uh, use our uh, services again and again. Even this is applicable even for end users also. So that is one of the major issue which normally they were facing, right? So user experience of the application were not up to the par, up to the mark. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to say that. So if it was not there, what will happen? Whatever the efficiency of work which we needed to do, and we have, if you want to be in market in a competitive market and competitive demand and all, still intact that user experience must be good. At the same time, within the application, users had no way to split a page of a document or a magic bag, right? So because there are a lot of uh, pages will be created by us and a lot of docu documents will be created. So for example, if there are, let's say, let's say, for example, there were some 10 pages where you want to split the pages. Or else, for example, there was some document which was taken back and wherever you want to merge it back, merge it back, right? So merge it back in between. So these are the things which are not something possible because as I already stated in the beginning, right? So due to the manual operations, it's not only about user experience. And uh, 
splitting out the pages or documenting or uh, merging it back, right? So these are all something which is challenging for us. This is what something which we must be focused more on. So because of this, the result in, right? So what, what was the result are we facing because of that? What is happening? This is causing multiple versions of documents to exist. So duplication will be more. So the same document will be again and again, right? So multiple versions of documents will increase this so that it may impacting the confusion, uh, impact, uh, impact on the clarity over what they're supposed to do, right? It leads to confusion, et cetera, right? So that sort of problem will be there. At the same time, increasing the process time for agents because of this, because as in when they are doing the manual operations for this due to the problem in integrations, et cetera, this impacting on the uh, process time for the agents and all, followed by this, whatever the wait time for clients and as well as uh, people will also be more, right? So waiting time increases automatically, customer may feel dissatisfied. So these are the problems a customer is facing, a client is facing. Now, what client is observing? Client is observing few things. Client need to resolve these issues. What are the issues I was mentioned some time back as I'm discussing for last few minutes. They want to turn a vendor that would be able to help them so that they want to have solutions for this. Hence, the, what they did, they have identified a vendor who is called Qlient who is in experts in providing some IBM environments and guideware and all that. So that they want some kind of pre-built solution so that that pre-built solution will solve their problems. So what the problems and all everything, that was there, right? So whenever you are working on the case study, you'll be knowing about what are the different, different solutions am I going to provide, right? So what solutions we are going to give. This is all something which being a business analyst, we need to understand and we have to perform with. So whenever we are in the, in the role of a business analyst, whenever we are trying to understand the requirements from the customer, from the PNC point of view in Guideware, how to understand the problem, who is the customer, and so what challenges are they facing, what were the client observation, this sort of understanding is required. Based on that, what kind of solutions, of course, there are already predefined solutions which was mentioned here, right? So pre-built pre up solution. The pre-built up solution was already designed by me. Right. So what are the innovative solutions and all that? It was there already. It was there. Right. So of course, that solution is what something being a BA you have to come up with. This is what generally the live exposure or live experience being a business analyst in Guideware is what something you have to carry with. Then you will get some hands on live exposure. I don't say experience, but live exposure. So if you have an exposure it's so that it will be more uh, beneficial to you, right? So when you are attending for any kind of interviews or whenever you have learned, because uh, because I could see there are a lot of people who are, are undergone the training of this guideware and they are coming for me for projects. And some people who wants to learn guideware from the beginning as a business analyst, they want to learn, right? So this is all something I'm creating this uh, video. I'm making this video just because of this into consideration. People who wants to get into the career of guideware, property and casualty insurance and PNC insurance domain for a business analyst. Uh, so this video is might be helpful to them, right? So how to understand and all. Subsequently, based on that, what solutions are we going to provide is what something uh, you have to come up with and what solution you have given and that solution, how this can be implemented. This is all something which people are learning in uh, my courses, whenever people are enrolling for my course and all, this is what something which I'm uh, making them to do it. So that they'll say, they'll get some confidence, right? So when they're attending for interview, while they're learning Guideware BA, if they do this, so that it will be more confident to them, so that when someone is asking you the questions and all, it is, there are more probabilities, probabilities more, so that people will get succeeded in interviews. Probability, right? So I don't, I cannot be, because there are other factors, uh, even, right? You know, right? success and failure may vary in different factors, but it gives, it, it, it motivates, it gives confidence to the people who are attending for interviews also. And whoever wants to um, uh, get into guideware business analyst and all these sort of things and doing different, different uh, projects in these areas will help them, right? So, so that they can improve some live exposure. 
so which is more uh, helpful to them right so this is all about this video if you have any questions if you have any uh, training as well as coaching needs in, reg in regard to guide where business and list all that so please reach out to the contact details which will be posted in below to this video thank you